Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you today. Quick video for you. I want to share a tip with you because I'm really pleased how this has turned out. Okay, so we're out here working all day and it's becoming evening time and I am, we are mowing and trimming and weed eating and just doing all sorts of things right now. And I've gone to check on one of my side gardens on the side of my yard. I've had a real t hard time with this area because it's not a fenced in area and we've spent some time and effort in trying to make it look cute. You know, it's a cute thing. And I have planted bulbs there and I have planted I've planted zinnias and I've planted different things there and my father bought me and brought me a, um, last year a beautiful set of daylilies. So I've made this cute little flower garden and you know pollinator attracting you know situation. Well we have some critters in the area. Um, we have some rabbits and we have some neighbors cats. So um, so this area has been discovered many times as a nibble spot and as a litter box spot. So in a, in a good attempt to be fair to the animals as much as possible, fair to the neighbors as much as possible, and you know, not really wanting to harm anything that's just doing what it does. A rabbit is going to do what it does. A cat or a dog is going to do what they do. It's neighbors' responsibilities, but that can be another video another day. Let me show you what I've done um, to help this area out. And since I've done this, I haven't had any issue. And in fact, things are thriving. So let's take you over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so here is the space. And if you're hearing some noise in the background, right across the fields there, is farmer Rick working on the hay. So long story short, this is the area that I'm talking about. And this is what I have done. I have placed, I don't know how many I put in here, probably 50 all around, especially the spots that were getting hit, which was this area. Okay. And especially over in here, um, you could tell it was being dug out quite a bit, uh, being used as a litter box and being used. This right here is my daylilies. You can still see remnants of what I'm talking about. I mean, it was chewed down to nothing. I was really upset. So, cleaned it up some, did the best I could with it, and I put forks all throughout. You've probably seen this online. That's where I got the idea, on, on Pinterest. A box of plastic forks, and I've stuck them in there. The goal is to not hurt the animals, okay? Obviously, the goal is to make it uncomfortable and undesirable of an area. It's like, ooh, oh, ee, ah. And I'm going to tell you, this has been in effect for about two weeks. And um, I've got a new little deal coming up here. Um, it has been in effect for about two weeks, not one disturbance um, since this has been in, 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 in play here. So I just want to let you know that if you, you know, are having trouble with an area and you, you know, make sure it's an area that toddlers aren't going to be stepping on. And, you know, this is way on the side of the property. Okay. We're, my kids aren't trampling through here. And of course they know, um, but I'm going to tell you, it's kept the rabbits out. Now they can still get in here and eat. Okay. Clearly, you know, if they just, they could sit right here and nibble, nibble, nibble. Um, I just wanted to create it, make it more difficult for them to want to be here. And, but the main thing is, there's been no cat litter, so I'm really excited about that because that would be a neighbor issue. So anyway, and you know, you want to try to keep the peace. So you want to try to maintain your property, maintain the peace. So you can see I've got them all around. And ever since we've done this, literally, look here. This is what I discovered today because I didn't think we were going to have anything left. So if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Clearly, I've got some things to work on over here, and we'll continue to do that. So, see, I'm not over here every day. See that, clearly. Um, but uh, I do want it to look nice on the side of the property, and I want things to come up for my hummingbirds. And, you know, you just don't want a cat in the middle of your garden. So, that's why we have fencing. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon, and take care out there.